Meta's next generation standalone VR headset, the Quest 3, is here with pancake lenses, 120Hz refresh rates, and enhanced processing power. But as exciting as the Quest 3 is, two key questions linger. Does it really deliver full-body tracking as promised? And where is the much-requested mid-range 256GB storage option? Let's find out. There are conflicting theories on the Quest 3's full-body tracking capabilities. Some boldly claim the Quest 3 would offer complete full-body tracking right out of the box. However, some provide an important clarification. The initial tracking will only cover the upper body. Full lower body tracking will come later down the road via software updates. This debate shines a light on the remaining uncertainty around just how robust standalone inside-out tracking can be compared to high-end PC-based external tracking solutions. While inside-out tracking is a huge step forward for the Quest, it may still fall short of the full limb and finger tracking that enthusiastic VR users are hungry for. The Quest 3's onboard cameras certainly have limitations. They have blind spots that could make tracking certain poses and motions tricky. And the lack of overhead cameras severely limits what your hands can do above your head or when fully extended. These constraints mean that in some situations, the Quest 3's body tracking may falter, while external accessories would have no issue. The other controversy around the Quest 3 is the storage options. Meta is launching with 128GB and 512GB models, just like the Quest Pro. But many clamored for a 256GB middle ground that balances price and capacity. With some Quest games ballooning over 10GB, 128GB can feel limiting for power users who want to keep multiple large titles installed. They'll be forced to juggle games and constantly re-download as needed. 256GB would give more breathing room for today's storage-hungry apps and games. And 512GB comes with a steep $150 price hike over the base model. This doubling in cost is a tough pill to swallow just for some storage. 256GB at, say, a $75 upgrade would hit that sweet spot between capacity and affordability. So, why no 256GB version to hit that ideal middle ground? Some believe Meta wants to upsell customers to the pricier 512GB unit to increase profit margins, but Meta claims the two-tier approach actually simplifies manufacturing and inventory management. Given the recent supply chain challenges, this argument has merit. Meta also says a 256GB model could come later if demand warrants it. The company took the same incremental strategy with the 64GB and 128GB Quest 2 models. So, a mid-range storage option isn't out of the question down the road once supply stabilizes and sales volumes increase. For now, buyers who need more than 128GB but bulk at the 512GB price will have to rely on the external USB storage. Or, if you're handy with electronics, some may try to modify their Quest 3 with a larger internal M2 SSD. While the lack of a 256GB option is disappointing for many, Meta seems to have logical reasons behind their storage strategy. We'll just have to wait and see if a 256GB Quest 3 emerges later on as adoption grows. While the lack of full-body tracking in a 256GB model is disappointing, the Quest 3 still delivers where it counts. The enhanced lenses, displays, and XR2 Gen 2 chip push visual fidelity way beyond Quest 2. Hand tracking gets a boost from the redesigned touch controllers, and the inside-out tracking affords new mixed reality capabilities. For $500, the Quest 3 packs bleeding-edge features that blur the lines between standalone and PC VR. This approach does force some compromises like limited storage and processing power, but Meta's relentless innovation proves they're playing the long game in VR AR. The Quest 3 continues Meta's steady march to true spatial computing, and while we can debate its flaws, the Quest 3 proves Meta remains determined to dominate consumer virtual worlds. So don't let the lingering questions distract you. The Quest 3 is an incredible piece of technology that delivers meaningful progress towards VR's mass adoption. Time to start clearing the room in your play space because the next generation of VR gaming and experiences is here.